All right, guys, welcome to Austin, to my home, my humble abode, um, right near Barton Springs, right down the street. I live right here, and I thought I'd just shoot you guys a quick video. I want to do a, kind of a yoga cut teaser kind of thing, get a sense of how we can use yoga and HIT together really effectively. So it's going to be real quick, but let's get started. So start here, just standing forward fold, bend the knees a lot, feel firmly grounded, rock, uh, through both feet. Lift your toes a little bit, spread them apart, and place them down. Bend the knees so your belly and chest kind of rest towards your thighs and relax your neck and spine. Come into your breath. Feel that breath deepen down and give you a nice internal stretch along your back and spine and shoulders. So let go of tension from your neck and shoulders and face and jaw. Now bend the knees a little more, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, press into the feet and draw in the low belly. Feel yourself slowly rolling up each vertebrae on top of the last. And then elbows bend out, shoulders back from the middle. Let's unfurl, stretch up here. Take a deep breath, go along. And exhale, bring palms to your heart. The eyes closed, feel firmly grounded. Feel your root, feel the sensations of the breath. So we always like to come centered first. Now we're going to get started <clears throat> with some nice uh, movements. We're going to go for 30, 20, 10. So we'll start with our big toes touching. Take your arms out and just bend the knees. Maybe fingertips come brush them out and come into our chair pose. Sit yourself down deep. We're going to go for 30 seconds here. So take a deep breath in. As you exhale, can you squeeze that Mula Bandha energy up along the front lumbar spine and pull the elbows back, lift your heart. Good. Inhale, sit it back. Exhale, squeeze, zip it up. Inhale, exhale. Keep going. Keep sitting deep each time as you go. Cool. We've got about 15 more seconds. Use that breath to let your body lead. You can go faster if you want. Five seconds. And take a break. Good. So let's kind of move our body a little bit, find some movement, some soft opening sensation. Quick little break. And we're gonna go round two, this time 20 seconds, but try to increase the intensity, amp it up. All right, here we go. So come down. If you want to, you could even come onto the heels this time. Keep going deep each time, guys. Go as deep as you can. Arms all the way up. Challenge yourself. We got this. A few more seconds. Come on the heels if you can. And take a little break. Good, again, 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go one more round. This time, if you want, you can add a jump. Okay, here we go. Chair pose. Hard as you can, guys, for 10 seconds. Two, one, and you're good. Okay, let's take another, let's take a 20 second break here. We'll set up our next exercise. So, we're gonna begin with a little lunge, high lunge. So, we're gonna step the right foot back. Bend your right knee, adjust your hips. Maybe get that support of the psoas and push your back leg a little straighter. Okay, let's set it up, arms to the sky. Now you can just step if you want for 30 seconds. You can also give a little hop, challenge. So we hop, switch, use your breath. Squeeze it up with each exhale. Inhale, exhale, squeeze, good. Either one. Keep it going. A few more seconds. Woo. And release back at the front of the mat. Find a smooth breath. Calm it down. Move your body around a little bit. Setting up the next round, 20 seconds. Step the left foot back. When you're ready, begin. Maybe this time you try the hop if you didn't before. Maybe go a little faster. Each time, I'm gonna bend that back knee, reestablish your hips as the foundation. Okay, a few more seconds. And take a break. Ooh, get warm, okay. Move around a little bit. Last round, 10 seconds. Set the right foot back when you're ready. Go for it, fast as you can. Maybe this time try to bring your back knee down to almost touch the mat. Oh my God, almost there. And you're done, good. Take a little break again, slow your breath, move it around, 20 seconds. Got three more of these to go. 
You're doing great. Whew. Calming the breath, relaxing a little bit. Okay, so for the next one, we're gonna go ahead and do hops, but jump backs as well. So it'll be this is kind of a hop up as you exhale, and then set the fingers, lifting from the belly, shoot back, chaturanga, and then back up. Okay, AKA burpees, haha. <laughs> okay, let's go for it, 30 seconds. Just try to be mindful as you move, okay? These are yoga burpees, nice yoga burpees to give our body strength. This is super good for your body, helping to increase metabolism, burn way more fat. So keep it going, 10 more seconds. It's also really good for your cardiovascular system. And that's it. Good, take a 10 second break. Move around, calm your breath. Try to come back to that deep breath even though your heart may be racing. Okay, here we go. Second round, 20 seconds. Can you go a little faster now? Keep that support system. Keep both feet moving at the same time. If you can't hop both feet, then you can step instead. Back to plank. Okay. Five seconds. And relax, take a break. Yeah, getting it going. Okay. All right, we got one more round. 10 seconds. Challenge, fingertips. Okay, begin. Can you keep fingertips even as you hop back? Fast as you can. And that's it. Okay, let's take a little break. Catch my breath. All right, let's keep it going. Gently come down to lie back on your back. 30, 20, 10, we're gonna lie all the way back. Bring your legs up straight as possible. Curl your toes in towards your body. If your knees are bending, bring them away until they grow straight. Try to keep them nice and straight. Now lift your heart up. Now take a deep breath. Exhale, bring your fingertips to touch your ankles, your feet, your toes, and even the above. 30 seconds, let's go. We're using those exhales to get that curl up, using the deep core body to support your movements. Good, we got 10 more seconds. Keep it moving. Go as high as you can with each exhale. Could keep the legs nice and straight. For five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh, okay. Bend the knees, rock it around a little bit. Calm your breath. <sighs> Great job, guys. So, getting ready for round two. Let's see if we can amp it up a little bit. So, bring your legs up straight as possible. This time, if you want challenge, you could bring the legs and arms away from each other. So, lowering down to a jackknife or touching the toes. Keep it steady and smooth. Just a few more seconds. Three, two, one, good. Okay, take a break, breathe. Got one more round, guys, from this one. 10 seconds, that's it. So go for it, really push yourself, okay? Legs straight, let's go. 10 seconds. Yes, one more. And relax, take a break. Oh my goodness, you guys are awesome. Let's squeeze in, knees to nose, take a deep breath, exhale, release. Okay, one more, and we'll be done with the yoga cut, okay? So turn around on your belly. This is good stuff. Okay, on the belly. Now, we're gonna do a movement formation. It's a reverse boat movement. We're gonna do kind of a, I don't know, a moving boat, I'm gonna call it, right? So, what this consists of is keeping the legs as straight as possible. This is a trick legs super straight. Don't let them bend, but try to lift from your core body. Get that inner thigh lift, that deep inner support lift, and same with the arms, okay? We're gonna lift, not just straight up, but we'll, let's start with that, we'll, we'll increase it, okay? So 30 seconds, 
on the clock, set yourself up, and let's go. Legs straight, arms straight, go as high as you can. Just reverse boning it, and then softly set it down. Try not to slam down. Really try to control your movements, control your breath, keep those legs long, extend it out away from the hips, this going. A few more seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome. <sighs> Calm your breath, move your body around a little bit. You just kind of sway your spine. It's fine. You can also lift your hips up if your back is bothering you. Okay, let's go 20 seconds. This time, option if you want, you can do that, or we could also begin to move from side to side. So bringing our legs and hands to one side, and then going the opposite direction. Hi right, guys. <laughs> and then go the other way. Okay, it's 20 seconds, let's do it. So try to lift as high as you can, and feel like you're going over a little fence or something, front and back. A few more seconds. Try to bring the legs and arms high as possible. Ooh, this is so good. And you're done, 20 seconds, okay, great. Really, really good for that low back core, which actually is the majority of your core, believe it or not. Um, cool. The myth of the core, I can talk about that later, but let's come back in. We do 10 seconds more, and then we're done. So whichever one you want, go for it. Go as high as you can each time. 10 seconds. Let's do this. Five, four, three, two, one. Wonderful. Come on to all fours. Gently set the hips back on the heels. Your knees can be as wide as you want. Four out on the mat and relax for a couple breaths. Maybe sway your body a little side to side. Relax deeply. Relax your neck, your jaw, your spine, your shoulders. And then we'll slowly roll it back up and in. So since we got nice and warm from that really quick intense, <laughs> high intensity interval yoga training. Let's just do some stretching to finish off. So let your hips now fall to the right side. Hips go right, left fingertips go out to the left. Tip till the left fingertips out as far as you can first, right, as far as they can. Now, arm, right arm unfurls, stretch it up, take a deep breath, reach up. And then exhale, reach over the top of your body, out to the left. Reach out through the fingertips and feel that nice deep stretch to all the muscles, everything on the, on the right hand side. Now make sure you're not curling in, keep the heart open. Maybe even gaze up a little inside your arm. A few deep, slow breaths, slow your breathing down. Keep reaching, get a nice deep stretch there, breathe into it. Beautiful, and exhale, release. Let's take the right hand out to the side where it came from. Now lift your hips up on the knees. Let's just get a nice look, stretch, reverse opening, inhale. And exhale, bring it back down. Now, bring your hips back on the heels and go the other way. So we sit out to the left side. Same thing, other side. Right fingertips over to the right as far as you can. Tiptoe, tiptoe long. Left arm extends, inhale. And then exhale, reach out over the top of the body. Stretch out, roll your heart open, gaze up inside the arm if you like. Breathe and really get deep into that stretch in the side body. If this is easy for you, you could also bend your right elbow a little bit. But keep rolling your heart open, throat open. Face relaxed, breathe deep. Stretch it out. Beautiful, and then exhale, release. Left hand comes out to the side. Lift your hips, swing the arm out. Take a deep breath, stretch. Beautiful, exhale, bring it back down to the floor. Sweet, okay, rocks. Come up, back on all fours. Let's set up our fingers now. Fingers spread to knuckles, to palms. Get and tuck your toes. When you're ready, exhale, lift your hips back up away from the wrists. Get a little down dog. Keep the shoulders loose and open so we're not walking. You can bend one knee at a time, create some openness. Maybe nod your head yes, shake it no. Take a deep breath. Good. Let's bend, the, let's bend everything a little bit now, soften, and then take your right leg up. Lift it up with an inhale, stretch. Exhale, we're going to bend, scoop everything in. Knee to nose, push that floor away, lift your hips, and step your right foot through the thumb. Wave the spine long with an inhale. Nice decompression. Bring your back knee down to the floor. Good. If you need to double your mat or use a towel or blanket under your knee, grab that first. 
point your toes. We're going to press. You do both foundations here. Feel the bony part of your legs pressing the floor. Draw the energy up and in, inner thighs up and in, the spine. Bend your elbows out, shoulders back, unfurl. Take a deep breath, stretch it up. Let your shoulders draw back. If you like now, option, if you feel that you have this support system activating the front low belly, which is your psoas, feel that activation lifting up and in. You could also begin to breathe and open. Get a nice little heart opener here. So fingertips may reach back towards the back of the room. Try not to dump into it, but keep lifting up and out of the hips. Breathing deep and extending. Feel that energy draw up and in, up along your spine. And then you can go back a little further. Slide your chin back, gaze up, take a deep breath. Exhale, we can release here. Fingertips to the floor, shift your hips back, right toes curl in towards your body, right leg as straight as possible. Now notice the left hip may be angled back a little bit. If so, grab your right ankle and move it forward or backwards, but try to get the left hip directly over your left knee. Right leg as straight as possible, straight out from the hip. Fingers on the floor. Take a slow, deep breath. Milk it, breathe it in. Really soak in that inhale. When you exhale, begin to fold deeply from the hips. Maybe we do two or three of these kind of waving, full deep breaths. And then exhales, you feel, feel yourself release a little bit more into the pose. Let your neck and head relax. Shoulders relax, and here's the, the kicker. Bend your elbows. That's the secret. Elbows bend towards the floor, and we feel that full unraveling and release into the pose, getting a full surrender to the posture. I think surrender has gotten a bad rap. Right here, we're going to use it to our advantage. So breathing fully and deeply. Keep the right hip gently drawing back if you can. Let your breath flow through every sensation that you feel. Beautiful, and then let's shift the weight back forward. Restack the knee over your ankle. Set your fingers, knuckles, palms. From here, if you want to go back to plank and flow through a vinyasa, that's available. Whatever feels right for you. You could also just meet us in down dog, okay? So let's all bring it back to down dog. Bend a little, soften, take the left leg up, inhale. Exhale again, soften, swing it in, knee to nose. Elbow squeeze, push, lift your hips. Step your foot through the thumb and decompress. Wave that spine out. Inhale. Good. Bring your back knee down to the floor. Adjust if you need anything. Pressing into those bony parts, your foundation. Draw the energy up the inner thighs, low belly. Bend the elbows and then unfurl to that low lunge. Arms up, nice and long. And now you can kind of sit your hips back down. So the hips anchor, getting a nice stretch in the legs. But again, we're not dumping out the belly. Try to keep that support system of the psoas, that deep, powerful, super awesome muscle deep in your body. Now, if you have that support and you did so on the other side, you could begin to draw the energy more up and in and perhaps even start to add that back bend heart opener element. Keep your fingertips reaching back, slide your chin back, maybe gaze up and take a few slow, deep breaths here. Start to play with that edge a little bit. Nothing serious, just dancing. Gonna take another deep breath. When you're ready, exhale. Let's release our fingertips back to the floor. No thank you, mosquito. Shift your hips back. Curl your left toes in towards your body. Grab the left heel and move it again wherever you need so that the right hip is over the right knee. Hip square, leg as straight as possible. Fingers on the floor, take a deep breath, really deep. Really fill up, slow and deep. Fill up, fill up. When you exhale, hinge from the hips. Feel the hinging motion. Then use the breath. Maybe two or three nice waving, opening kind of movements. But we're going to settle deep into this pose with the deepest, most conscious breath. Elbows bending towards the floor as much as you're comfortable. Relax your neck, your face, and jaw. Begin to even imagine or feel as though that breath is moving into your stretch directly. Each exhale releasing a little more tension or stress. Take one more deep breath here. And then exhale, let's begin to release. Shift your weight forward again, knee over the ankle. Set your hands, step back again if you want through a vinyasa or just down dog it. Back and down dog, heels heavy, relax your neck. Let's all lift our heels up high, now inhale. 
Exhale, bring your knees down. And once again, you can child's pose for a moment, forehead on the mat. Relax your whole body there. Feel the softening as you fold over your legs. Child's pose, forehead on the mat. Come into the breath, again, deep as possible. Slow it down, calming the breath. I invite you to stay here in the child's pose for a few moments, softening, relaxing, and perhaps this will be your final relaxation for the day. You can also continue with your practice or go into a deeper relaxation in Shavasana or meditation if you prefer, or just go on with your day. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a beautiful day. In the name of the highest good, namaste.